Okay, so hopefully you all can see this. Um, the yellow I'm using over top of, um, let's see what orange that was, over the Dynamo orange, I'm now using, oh, I'll have to find the, the name for this paint and let you guys know because I don't know what I did with my little paint chips I made. So anyway, I'm using an old, just an old paintbrush and I'm going to get a little bit of paint on here, just um, like maybe one third of the way up the brush and then scrape it back into my can and I'm just going to kind of brush it on the wall. It's like a dry brushing, yeah, dry brushing technique and see how that's really bringing out the stencils. So you just, you don't have to be really perfect with it and getting every little spot and, but you don't really want to see um, your paintbrush marks because you don't want people to think you you really painted it on here, so that's um, kind of a thing with faux finishing. You don't want people to see what tool you've done the faux finish with. You don't want to see a three and a half inch wide paintbrush stroke. So kind of blend these around a little bit. And we're going to, in the center of the walls, they're going to be a little bit lighter. And up in the corners, it's going to be darker, but not with this yellow. Um, we're going to put a couple more colors on here. <clears throat> but right now, we're doing one, one color at a time. And I'll let you guys know what color yellow this is. It's really pretty. And I hope you can see, and I'll take the camera around once I'm done with this wall, so you can see how that's really making the wrinkles in the tissue paper stand out and you can lay your brush like flat ways or whatever you want to do just to get some different strokes on here push a little harder some places on these stencils bring your paint out a little bit more it's just all it's just all fun You see all that um, build up a little bit of paint on that wrinkle? That's that's the kind of thing we're looking for. Not really perfection and doing the same thing on each little wrinkle. You just just want to get some paint on the wall. And as I said, in the center, it's going to be a little bit lighter. So we're probably going to apply a little more yellow in the center and then the darker browns and stuff um, in the corners and towards the top. I hope you guys can see this, um, the texture in here because it's so pretty. And don't stay in one place when you're doing the faux finish. You want to go randomly around your wall. Do a little bit at the top here. Again, a little bit more paint and then scrape it off because you don't want a big blob of paint on the wall. If you do get a blob of paint, just kind of rub it in a little bit. Turn the camera a little bit this way so you can see this. And again, dipping into the paint and rubbing most of it off. And I'm gonna, so I'm laying my paintbrush on the stencil. 
to really make that pop. Well, I'm going to finish uh, the rest of these walls and then I'll give you guys um, a little look at uh, what it looks like with this layer on. I'm pretty sure I showed you um, the walls just painted orange, but in case I didn't, I'll give you a little look right now. Here's what they look like with just the orange on. And I'll come over here and show you. Um, this is with a little bit of the first uh, yellow on this faux finish. You really can't see it that well at all. My camera is not focusing in. Let's see if that does it. No, not really. Okay. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I get the rest of the yellow on these walls.